Thank you very much. Minister of Economy, Mr. Eli Cohen, joined us. However, we're going to allow Major General in Reserves Matan Vilnai, former Ambassador of Israel to China, and currently serving as the head of the China-Israel program here in the Institute. Ambassador, what a sign, says the speaker. Good morning. Good morning, Minister of Economy. I'm very happy to have you with us in this modest forum. We are marking 25 years of the relationship of China-Israel. We are also marking the years where a community came together of all friends who are seated here those who have been uh, accompanying the relationship between China and Israel. It doesn't end only on the level of government and ministries of foreign relations. It also goes to the academy, to the realm of economy, the people who are interested as uh, there are people here. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you who've made your way here this morning and you are um, Part of this conference, I'm sure it's going to be a very fascinating conference. And thank you, everyone who's here. I'd like to stress uh, the participation of uh, people from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Chagai, Iran, and Tzvika, who are always with us. This component of China in the ministry is very strong and highly efficient. And I felt it myself when I was ambassador in China. And I'd like to thank them for being here with us today. It is the first time when I'm not talking to you via Skype, but rather uh, here, uh, present, can talk to you all. And I'm very happy for this role, for my position here. And anyone who is contributing, starting from Amos, head of the Institute, the Glazer Foundation, and any other body that is assisting us, it wouldn't work otherwise. And I'm sure that you're, if you're involved, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll talk about China and Israel later on. It is a fascinating topic unto itself. Israelis are not uh, so exposed to this, but we see that the circle is expanding. And it is critical in a more extreme manner than people perceive it on a routine basis. First and foremost, because of the huge gap in cultures between China and Israel. Yesterday I met a group of children who came back from China. Uh, they were young ambassadors. Ambassador Chang was uh, Ambassador Chang. They forgot it. And uh, I met them before. I talked to them yesterday, and you see how they were exposed to a world which is not just like the little po children poem about the two Chinese, but it is a world. It is the culture. And from Cass University, two ladies that I met them in Beijing. Uh, a month ago, I met Professor Han in Xinhua. Xinhua is Harvard University of China. And you understand what is the meaning of Harvard. And CAS is a very important institute deployed all over China, not only in Beijing, but all over China. And I met the people in many places in China. It's, I will appreciate very much that you are here with us uh, today. And Paul came with us, with them, too, to this conference. Thank you very much. Thank you all. And enjoy the conference. Thank you.